Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly is interviewing Corey Ria, the CEO of Hydrox Holdings, which has just been acknowledged in Monaco for its proudly South African hydrogen generating technology. Corey, it's great to chat to you. What is so great about your proudly South African hydrogen technology that has grabbed the hydrogen headlines in the state of Monaco? Thank you, uh, Martin. We're very proud for ourselves and for our country and for our company for achieving this remarkable awards that we won at, at the uh, inaugural Monaco Hydrogen Forum's uh, first meeting. That was you know, a week ago, where, where they were looking for solutions in the renewable energy space. And uh, we, we had to compete with uh, 15 countries, hundreds of applicants from all over, all the big countries were there, Canada, USA, all of Europe, Australia, India. And we made the last eight as a finalist and we eventually of the five total prizes awarded, we got two of them, which we're very, very proud of. And the one especially is a special distinction one uh, for the best emerging technical solution for the mobility and, and for uh, marine uh, solutions, uh, marine space. Our technology is, is the membraneless technology, the one that we've developed some time ago, we patented that. We build a, a prototype in, with Shell's uh, support, uh, the Shell Game Changer program. So this technology is really now uh, coming to the fore. People are taking cognizance of this because this has got the real possibility of lowering the cost of hydrogen by about 25 to 30 percent. That's amazing. And what do Monaco want to use it for? They're the principality, by the way. Uh, so they, they want to use it for their marine section. They've got these huge motor boats lying out there in the harbor, massive ones, and they all use diesel. So they want to replace diesel. And then they also very much, uh, also the, the, the countries next to them, Spain, Italy, uh, even Gibraltar and Malta, they all approached us. They, they have a huge need to uh, get into green hydrogen space. And, and, and the only way they can do it is, is if they have new technology. The, the current technology has been used for over 200 years using a membrane and two electrodes to separate. And here we come along from Africa with this, you know, fantastic new development where we don't need membranes. We, we can just do it without, and that opens a whole world of possibilities for us. And when do you think your membraneless deft electrolyzer technology is going to be deployed commercially? <laughs> That's the, the jackpot question. Our, our biggest uh, stumbling block up to now was resources. We are a privately funded company. We've uh, carried this on and we developed it. And as I say, uh, Shell helped us with a grant there. And then uh, COVID struck and we came <laughs> really to a standstill. And we had to make certain serious decisions because we couldn't afford to carry on ourselves. Money-wise is a problem. So we decided to switch to the uh, advanced alkaline electrolyzer, a standard uh, zero gap system where we, we built a state-of-the-art electrolyzer, which can operate at very high current densities compatible to a PEM at 700 milliamp a square centimeter at 1.8 volt, which gives you excellent efficiencies. And that's the one that we've developed since the COVID up to now. And now suddenly with the recognition for our deaf technology, it's revived the interest. And hopefully we can get now funders to go ahead with that technology. It, there's lots of possibilities as far as that's concerned. So we can't wait to continue with that. That was Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, speaking to Cory de Yar, the CEO of Hydrox Holdings, South Africa's hydrogen electrolyzer pioneer.